What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more Series 3 content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out on the rank ladder with a Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Life Orb Scissor team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. That's a plus one and his Patreon. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking that's his channel and the original video where he showcases his team. It goes over it more in depth. So definitely go check it out. Leave a like over there and subscribe to his channel if you're not already. But Shen Pao is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Shen Pao, obviously top tier in the Series 3 ladder with the Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, and Sacred Sword. We got Dragonite in our, in our 2 slot with Multi-Scale and Lumberry. And you guys already know, Dragonite pairs up with Shen Pao and he's very, very strong. It's got the normal Terra with Tailwind, Extreme Speed, Iron Head, and Ice Spinner. We got Mousehold in our third slot, and Mousehold is good for two reasons. One, it pairs up with Annihilate, who is also on the Steam, and two, it's just a great support Pokemon all around. It has Friend Guard and the Safety Goggles as item, Rock and Protect, Follow Me, Beat Up for that Annihilate, and then Super Fang to half HP and do a little bit of damage onto our opposing Pokemon. We got Annihilate in that fourth slot with Defiant and Leftovers, Protect, Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, you guys seen this plenty of times, but pair it up with the Mousehold, it can pretty much sweep teams and dominate battles. We got Frigoriff in our 5 slot, and Frigoriff is really good at countering Trick Room and setting it up at the same time. I really do like this Pokemon on the rank ladder. It has Armor Tail, which is an amazing ability, the Citrus Berry as item, it has Imprison and Trick Room, and then it has Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball. Final Pokemon on today's team is my boy Skizzy over here. My boy Scizor with Technician and Life Orb. Paired up with Chen Pao, this thing can do some crazy damage. It's got Steel Terror type, Protect. Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and U-Turn. Cannot wait to pair this Pokemon up with Chen Pao and get rocking with it on the rank ladder. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Scizor team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Ting Lu team with Gyarados, Great Tusk, Deli Deli Bird, Fluttermane and Amoongus for a nice little support Pokemon. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? Shen Pao is going to be great. I also do like, oh wait, you are not inner focus. I was going to say, I also like Dragonite for inner focus, but I can definitely see him leading Gyarados. Gyarados could be a little bit of a problem. I might go into Annihilate Mousehold. Kind of like that. I kind of do like that. Bringing them two and then Shen Pao and Scissor in the back end seems like a great lead for us. I really do like that, especially because I think they're going to lead Gyarados. We can just Defiant Pop and kind of get after it that way. So I'm all about it. Plus we have fi fire terror type, right? Yeah, obviously the best terror type for any annihilate. But yeah, let's lock this one in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I know what you guys are wondering. Yo, jeans, you got a black eye? Yeah, I got, got a nice, nice little shiner right under my eye. I had three hockey games this Saturday, which is the reason why I didn't upload yesterday. I was at the hockey rinks all day and then the place was like an hour away from my home. But I ended up getting hit, hit in the face with a ball. Took a nice little shot. It's all good. It kind of got out, kept playing, just went from there. But yeah, it's not too bad, but it's there. And I knew you guys were going to answer in the comment section down below. So I might as well address it, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, not going to lie. But we did light it up in, in, the, in the three games. We went 2-1. and one. I had a few goals, a few assists. Was, I, was, I was feeling good. I was ripping shots, dangling some people. It was awesome. Then, of course, getting hit with the ball at the end didn't make it any better. But they end up leading Deli Burton. Who's the other Pokemon? And the Great Tusk. Okay, so Deli Bird and Great Tusk come out here. Um, I could just rip a Drain Punch, which I really feel could be the play. I really do feel that this could be the play. I could bulk up. I could protect. Uh, I do think Deli Bird might even protect here, which is kind of scary. But I'm thinking of just Drain Punching and maybe just uh, protecting Mousehold. Or you know what? We're just going to Rage Fist. I'm just going to Rage Fist you, and I'm going to beat up this thing. Because I do think Deli Bird might even protect this turn. And he goes for a nice little Icy Wind, so he wants to slow down my squad. That's fine. I can deal with that. That's going to Defiant boost me, so this Rage Fist should get some work done here. <laughs> this Rage Fist should get some work done. Rock Slide's going to fly here. That's fine. No flinches. No flinches allowed here. No flinches allowed. We're not allowed flinches here. Down plus two on attack. I don't care that my speed's low. I'm just looking to get rid of this... Uh, This great tusk here. And it could be Sash. For the most part. A lot of them are Sash. Let's see. Are you Sash? You are Sash. Which I, which I don't really like. I don't really like. But that leaves me... 
to believe that this Deli Bird is not Sash, so <laughs> I can kind of just go into a Drain Punch there. It kind of rips some damage into that, and I'm thinking I'm just going to do that. Drain Punch, and I might just follow me the shot. Will Super Fang KO? I would rather just Super Fang. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Will Super Fang KO? Because half of one is nothing. It's a half, and there's no half HP in this. So, it's kind of tough. Maybe I should have followed me the shot, but uh, Nightleap's soaking pretty well here. Boxside's going to fly here again. We soaked that really, really well. I'm hoping just no flinches come out here. The Super Fang, does it KO? It does, cool. I never really used it when someone was on one HP. But if we don't flinch here, we should get back a ton of HP and pick up KO. Of course, of course we're flinching. Just what I wanted was to flinch there. So I get a nice little flinch. Um, if they do end up throwing out Fluttermane here, I am going to Terrastalize and follow me a shot. Let's see how this one plays. It is going to be Fluttermane. Flutter, Fluttermane. I mean, I could wait. And get out like a Pokemon like Scizor. Because I could just protect you, get some leftovers HP, and then kind of bring out like a first turn priority Pokemon. Which I really like. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to protect. Or, or do I go for the Drain Punch here? Which I'm really leaning towards. Is just Drain Punching you down. And then just follow me the shot. Well, I got to Terrasilize. Because if he goes for Dazzling Gleam, it's just a problem. So yeah, I'm going to Drain Punch you. And I'm going to go for the Follow Me here. Because I would love to hit this Deli Bird. If I can hit this Deli Bird and get back a ton of HP, it's going to be amazing. Because my boy is boosted right now. He is boosted. He's plus two on attack. I know speed's minus one, but their Pokemon are outspeeding us regardless. And then we are beat up like crazy. Like, we took so many hits that our Rage Fist is like stacked insanely. Insanely. But the reason I want to use Drain Punch because I know it can KO the Deli Bird and we can get back a ton of HP here. But out comes the Freeze Dry. Can you soak that? You do. That's a big time soak. And a shadow ball comes into that slot. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Night, night, yo. Like I said, Annihilate and Mousehold is insanely strong. And they can just get a lot of work done. But that's big time that we took out the Deli Bird. And now we have Fire Tower type. This match is wraps. It is wraps. It is wraps. We're going to sweep match number one. Without even having to use our Scizor or our Shen Pao. Now this match is over. I, I see your opponent kind of just canceling it. Because I'm just going to Rage Fist down the uh, the Flutter main, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll see who this last Pokemon is. It's going to be a Moogus. I mean, Rage Fist can kill both, so I'm cool with that. So I'm just going to Rage Fist that, and I guess I'll just follow me again. <clears throat> and they just cancel battle. Like I said, this, this combo is just OP. But in the second and third match, we'll try to get out Shen Pao, Scizor, and Dragonite, and the other Pokemon more. Come on, man. That is too easy. That's too easy. That first match... Clean sweep, no problem with it. Annihilate Mousehold, do what they usually do. But we're hopping into our second match, going up against a Murkrow and Annihilate team with Baxcalibur, Fluttermane, Corviknight, who has been ridiculously strong in the metagame as of recently, and then Great Tusk as the final Pokemon. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We could go into Dragonite Shen Pao. I really do like Dragonite Shen Pao here. So I think I am going to do that, right? It's, it's actually really strong. Or I can go Scizor. I could go Skizzy here. I do like Scizor, but I also like Dragonite. You know, we're going to go Scizor. You guys seen plenty of Dragonite Chen Pao. So I, I'm going to showcase Scizor. We're going to bring uh, Dragonite as a back end Pokemon. I feel like Annihilate by itself could be really, really strong, especially if we can bulk up. So I am going to bring Annihilate, and I'm just going to bring Dragonite. So we're going to go in with our hyper offensive team, just bringing a bunch of physical attackers with Chen Pao, and hopefully come out on top with this match. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. But that first match, it was just like, okay. I didn't even bulk up. They actually icy win me. Pop the fight. I was like, dude, I'm plus two now. Then I beat up, and then I was throwing Rage Fist, taking out Pokemon, Drain Punching for HP recovery, and it was just like, dude, it's over with. Because once you can get Annihilate set up, then you can follow me out with Mouse Hold and kind of have Annihilate Drain Punch, Leftovers HP, kind of constantly get things back and forth. And it's awesome. It is awesome. But let's see who they end up leading here. Corviknight seems like to always be a problem because his typing is phenomenal. His typing is just so good, right? And there's not a lot of like crazy strong fire Pokemon that you're bringing in here besides like Chiyu, but then you just tear into flying and kind of go from there. Let's see. It's not going to be Corvo, which I, I'm a fan of. No Corvo? I'm a fan of no Corvo here. And do I want to tear it into straight steel? Kind of? Not really. I don't know. I do not know. Um, I am just going to straight up bull punch you here and see how much damage I can do with that. So I'm going to bull punch you. And I guess I'll just go into a straight ice spinner. I mean, what's your terror type though? It is Ghost. I do have Focus Ash on him, so if you want to go for an EQ, that's fine. I'm fine with that. 
I can uh, sash up and kind of go from there. And that's what I love about Shen Pao. Rocking it with the Focus Sash. It is the hands down the best item for him. Hands down. It's just, it's just too good. It's just way too good for him. So we'll, we'll see what he wants to do. I'm guessing a Tailwind probably EQ kind of situation is going to come out here. But a lot of my Pokemon have first turn priority moves, so it's awesome. He's going to end up Terrasalizing. Are you going straight ground? It's a possibility, right? Or you can go fire. It's going to be straight ground. So he's just looking to pop EQs. And I don't mind it because I think Scissor should be able to eat it up. And on top of that, I think Shen... Well, Shen Pao with the Sash should be fine. And Tailwind comes out here. We got first turn priority moves, which I'm liking a lot. <clears throat> Actually, uh, Scissor might not be able to eat that up with the Shen Pao on the field. With Shen Pao on the field, you, you might not be able to eat this up. I'm a little scared of this. I am a little scared of this. Let's see how this one plays. Yeah, Scissor does not eat up. I totally forgot about the Shen Pao defensive drop. But from here, we are going to go into an Ice Spinner. Um, I could Terrastalize my Dragonite now. <clears throat> and Dragonite E Speed could take out that Tusk. And then we Ice Spinner. Should take out you. Yep, see you later, Murkrow. And Murkrow did his job, right? Got off the Tailwind. <clears throat> That's pretty much all, all that our opponent wanted from it. But yeah, from here, I got to bring out... I gotta bring out you, because I know E Speed will KO the uh, <clears throat> the Tusk. <coughs> e Speed will KO the Tusk, and then depending on what they bring out, I might just Sucker Punch, or I could just protect my uh, Shen Pao. We shall see what they want to do, and it is gonna be da -da -da, Flutter Main, Flutter Main, little bit of Flutter Main action. Which yeah, I'm just gonna Sucker Punch that right. Give it a little bit of sucker punch action. Deal as much damage as I can. And we'll go from there. So yeah, Terrasalize here. E speed to finish off you. So you see you later. And then sucker punch. They got speed right now. So first turn priority moves are going to be our best friend. They are going to be our best friend here. This match is actually going to be rather close here, right? This match is going to be rather close. Because they either protect the tusk or they swap it, right? Either a protect or a swap. And E speed will KO, and if he swaps, then it's just like you're giving off free damage here. So I think maybe a protect might come out from the tusk. Definitely a possibility. And him just trying to do as much damage on my Dragonite. But Dragonite is now a normal type. Fluttermane's not gonna be able to KO it. And we can we can get we can get after it and go from there. So we get that terror on. Loving it, loving it, loving it. E speed's gonna say bye bye to you. Get on out of here, Tusky Wusky. You gone. Oh <gasps> it doesn't KO? It doesn't KO, and you get a free focus sash. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on here? This is absurd. This is absurd. This is absurd. I don't know what to do. This is absurd. Oh no! Neither of those KO. Neither of those. And I can't e speed the Fluttermane, which is awful. It is awful because then he could just go into a fairy move here. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta e speed this thing. We can e speed it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, get on out of here. Bro, if we KO'd that Flutter main there, that would have been awesome. That would have been great. Um, What's our play here? Because he might just drain punch me. He might just drain punch me. Do we want to set up a Tailwind? How many turns left in their Tailwind? Two. It's not going to be worth it. Uh, wow, this is ugly. This is getting real ugly. Do we get rid of the Fluttermane? I think getting rid of the Fluttermane is probably the play. This is ugly. This is getting real ugly. We're doubling down to Fluttermane because I think he's probably going to KO one of my Pokemon, right? Could go into a Gleam, into a Train Punch. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. This is ugly. This is ugly. Because I could have sworn that E-Speed was KO, which it didn't. That hurt. E speed didn't KO. And then that sucker punch didn't KO either. So we're taking some big time damage here. He ends up going for the bulk up. Hold up. Wait a minute. We might have a shot here. Oh no, Rage Fist went first. That really hurts. I really want a Dragonite to outspeed. So we KO there. I really want a Dragonite to outspeed there. Because I'd rather the Rage fi Fist hit this thing. Iron Head's gonna fly. That's some good damage. We got a crit. We get a lovely crit. We get a lovely crit. Uh, now, the real question is... I think I have to protect. I'm going to Tailwind here. 
I'm gonna protect and Tailwind. Because <clears throat> if I can take speed over a Rage Fist and KO, which would be big time for us. So what I think happens is his Annihilate goes into a Rage Fist into my Annihilate. I mean, he could go for a Drain Punch, but I think if we waste out Tailwind here, we have a shot at win this match. Because I feel like it's whoever lands the first Rage Fist, right? <laughs> it's like, we're here for it. We both took a shot. And it's getting crazy. <coughs> so I end up protecting my Annihilate. Looking for this last ditch ever here. Show me the Rage Fist into it. No, you opt to go for the Drain Punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, we could have just Rage Fist into that. That was a real bad protect from us. Real bad protect. But I'm super surprised you went after that. But now a Terra is probably going to come out here, right? They haven't used Terra yet. Have they? Have they used Terra? Oh, no, they Terra. They Terrasse lost with a uh, great touch. So their Tailwind's gone. That's good news for us. And how fast are you, Annihilate? How fast are you? You're 115. Yeah, you're not... Unless he's he's not speed boosted, then it's pretty much over, right? Your Rage Fist is going to KO us. He's bulked up here as well. Mine goes first. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can we KO? I know he's bulked up. Let's go. All day. All day, Jeans. Great protect. Protect is now good. The Protect is now good to waste out the Tailwind turns. And we outspeed. Let's go. 2-0. Grab yourselves a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's go. Guaranteed ourselves a winning record. I would love to use Scissor a little bit more in this battle. And that's what we're going to try to do. We're really not going to use Graph in today's video. We just haven't really had the chance to use it. Plus, I showcased Graph plenty of times before. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could Trick Room if they are going to go in the Murkrow, which is definitely a possibility. Or I could just go Tailwind for Tailwind. So I'm going to go Dragonite, and I'm going to go... I could bulk up. But I'm going to go Shen Pao. Just Dragonite, Shen Pao. Potentially set up a Tailwind and kind of go from there, right? It looks really well. Bring in the Scissor, and I just think bringing in uh, Annihilate again. Annihilate's so good in the back end. Super, super bulky. Hits hard. Gets some HP back with the leftover stream punch. I'm, I've been loving him today. I absolutely love him. We got him out with the mouse hold. We got him out there in the last match. And so far, and probably for the rest of the matches, he's MVP. He is going to be MVP for today's video. he been tearing it up. Absolutely ripping into these guys, which I love. Which I adore. So we'll see who our opponent wants to go into. Probably Murkrow, something like that. Murkrow, Great Tusk, probably again. They do have the Brute Bonnet, which is a little scary. You know, Brute Bonnet's got that first turn priority, but I'm not too worried about it. I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Let's see who they, who they lead. I'm kind of scared of Fluttermane, but if I get my scissor out at the right time, I'll bullet punch that thing right on down. Is it Murky? Murkrow, Great Tusk. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to pop a Tailwind, and I'm just going to throw an Ice Spinner into the uh, Tusk lot. Or I can get rid of the Murkrow. really is up to me. But I'm going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. And, you know, I'm just going to throw Ice Spinner in this slot. Get off as much damage as I can. Hopefully, East Beacon KO after that. And we're going to see a Terra here. Are you going straight ground? Which I wouldn't mind. Please be straight ground. I have my Focus Ash. A little bit of Steel action. A little bit of Steel. That's a little scary. I mean, we got the Sacred Sword. Which is going to be good. And we're just going to hope that this thing is not choice. You go for a, You opt to go for a Sunny Day. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Photosynthesis. Are you going for a close combat into my Dragonite? That is a possibility. Rock sliding. He's sliding. No flinches here. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. No flinches. That's all I asked for. Yep, there's flinch. Awesome. Cool. At least we got off our Tailwind. So Tailwind's out and about now. Um, I really want a Sacred Sword down that thing. But I th actually, yeah, I think I am going to do that. And just Ice Spinner that with my Dragonite. I'd rather get off as much damage as I can onto this tusk. I don't feel like dealing with it. But Tailwind flies out here. Is this thing choice? We're kind of hoping it's not choice. And it is choice. It is! It is! And you get a high roll on my Dragonite. Wow. Rough, rough, rough. It's real rough. That, that is the definition of rough. Definition of rough right there. High roll onto my Dragonite. But now we're out here with these two guys. And can we make something happen? Can we possibly make something happen? He's choice, so... If we could just land a fighting move, you would be dead. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. what is my player? We got the sizzy, we got the skizzy skizzer out here, and I really want to terror and start bull punching, but hmm, I think we save our terror. I'm just gonna bull punch a Murkrow. I might want to terror you because a foul play comes in hot here. I would not like that. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna tear you in the fire. And I'm gonna take you out with a with a nice little drain punch. Or at least attempt it, right? Withdrawal. Are you going in the flutter main here? Don't do me dirty like that. Pretty good swap, but still. Chiyu comes down here. I'm really fine with that. Because I take you out. You should be dead here. You should be a goner. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. I can really get down with that. So, if we can get rid of his fire Pokemon for Scizor, that'd be enormous. So this should KO, I think, right? I mean, Annihilate Pit's hard enough. Goes for another Tailwind. What do you think I was going for there? That was weird. I think that was a misclick. Bull Punch flies through here. Doing half damage. I like that damage there. I like that damage. Half damage is always good. Drain Punch flies through here. We don't KO you, but I can first turn priority and get rid of the Chiyu, right? Which I think would be my play. Just go here. Bull Punch that slot just to make sure he doesn't get off anything. And then from here, I go into a Drain Punch. Or oh, I can bulk up. I'm going to bulk up this turn. If Merkur was chilling here and not doing anything crazy, I'm just going to start bulking up. I think that's my play. The Chiyu opts to go for the Protect. Bull Punch gets blocked. I'm going to bulk up and boost her defense. What I'm doing all day. All day. Bulk up coming out of here. We're looking for this comeback. We are looking for this comeback. We are looking for this comeback. Foul play coming out here. Yep, there's foul play into Skizzy. And oh, that did a bit too much damage. My team's Tailwind is gone. But now we're just going to bull punch, try to drop you. And I'm just going to finish off the Murkrow. Might as well look for double kill here. Ends up going. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Ends up going for the haze. Oh, man. I always kind of forget about that. I always forget about that. Little haze coming out here. It always sucks. It always sucks. Because you're like, yeah, I just got off a nice stat boost move. And then Mercury's like, nah, I got Prankster. I'm going before you. I'm dropping you with a haze. Drain Punch comes out of here. Uh, do I bulk up and take out the Mercury this turn? It really depends who they bring out, right? Because what's called a problem. Oh, no. He's a problem. This dude's a problem. EQ takes us out. He's a problem. We got to double down into him. He's a problem. The terror type was a problem. Yeah. Yep. There it is. That's game because now he's just foul playing into me. Yeah, it was a problem. I should have protected him. That should be my play. Protect and go into close combat. But Murkrow outspeeds me. Murkrow's just going into a foul play. So really no good, right? Yeah, see? It was game regardless, but solid third and final match. We end up losing that one. It's all good. We went 2-1 and, and grabbed ourselves an amazing winning record. Absolutely loved using this team for today's video. You have the Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Scizor rocking out with all first turn priority moves and doing extra damage because of Shen Pao's ability. And then you had Mousehold and Annihilate, which is just still to this day since Series 1 is top tier in the meta. It is absolutely amazing how strong Annihilate actually is with or without Mousehold. We got to showcase it on both sides of the field today. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.